you need to get out and it's unhealthy relationship or friendships or work environment and it's unhealthy it's causing you stress it has caused you anxiety it has um, left you in a position of where you feel defeated your confidence level has decreased those are the questions that you should be ch check marking in order to figure out whether this situation whatever it is that you need to Okay guys, so I'm back. My phone decided to die on me. So I am have switched over to actually my Samsung. <laughs> so hopefully the quality is still the same as um, my camera. So what I was saying was, it can be a job, it can be your relationship, your friendships, um, and friendships are sometimes like close relationships. Um, and other areas of your life where you just, it does not serve a healthy environment for you anymore. And a lot of times we fail to recognize that. We are so attached to toxic situations. I've noticed a lot of people, it's almost as if they, they thrive on having drama in their life or they thrive on having that negativity or something that they can talk about and that's also another thing i've noticed now a lot of people do enjoy that they enjoy having to call someone on the phone or having that situation that they can have in their life and say oh well me my life is you know so messed up or they just enjoy there's something that draws them to a situation that is very, very unhealthy and very toxic. And if you are a clear-minded person, if you are a person that can see logic and clarity and wants what's best for your life and you recognize that, that is when you definitely must let it go. It is no longer serving your purpose. They are no longer serving your purpose if they're bringing toxic situations into your life. Um, and just being a toxic friend, a toxic boyfriend, a toxic girlfriend, you don't need that. As I've gotten older, I've also realized that sometimes we, we are so rash and quick to let things go. We're so rash and quick to let people go. You know, you can also choose to build a healthy relationship how you can do that you can start with a conversation communication is so important it is so important to any relationships and friendships if you want to have a healthy relationship and have someone in your life because you necessarily may not think that they're a bad person and you want to still keep them around you can choose or you both can choose to communicate when things are just not where they should be and what they should be. And keep in mind that a lot of times, like I've indicated before, people will show you whether you are worth it or not. There's a quote that goes, um, people will show you exactly who they are. It's just really up to you to pay attention. I will put the, um, I'll sort of put it in the description box here for you guys, but and I honestly believe that's true. A lot of times people will show us exactly who they are and we are so blinded to it because of course there's smoke and mirrors, there, there is infatuation, <laughs> there is excitement that may come along with maybe having a new job. Um, and so those smoke and mirrors, they just blind you and cover you and you don't see it until it starts affecting you in every which type of way. And that is when you need to decide whether it is important for your health and for who you are to let it go. Another thing I'm going to touch on is health. You know it's time to let a job go, to let someone go, to let um, a friendship go, to let anything that is affecting you in your life when it starts affecting your health. Without your health, you cannot function. Without your body, you cannot live. So when, it, when that situation starts affecting you in a whole new light, where it is now transitioned into your whole being, your body, your health, your mental stability, and it turns into something that is unbearable, mental illness, what, whatever it is, 
it is time. I can't even stress how much it's time to let it go. It is time to let it go because stress can kill and stress can turn into the most horrendous things and horrendous situations that you will have to deal with. So when it comes to that, guys, it's just time to let it go. Um, don't hold on to that situation, especially if every time you are faced with that person or whether it's a situation or a job. And I get it. Sometimes we need, we need, we have to work. We got bills to pay. We have things to do. But before you let that go, if you recognize that you are facing a situation where you hate going to work, where it's causing you anxiety and it's causing you stress, do your research, get down in your laptop or your pen and paper, start job hunting, start figuring out what it is that is going to make you happy in your life. How can you now redirect yourself into a better career path, a better job? You know, are you able to stay in that situation until you find another job? But you have to be proactive, right? You can't just stay in a toxic environment or a stressful job and knowing very well what it's doing to you and your health, but you aren't being proactive in seeking other options. So <laughs> that's it, guys. Um, I hope this video is helpful to someone. I mean, I can go on and on and on, but I think I'm going to leave it here. It's getting pretty long now. Leave your comments below. Let me know what you think. You can also email me. I'll put that email in my description box. Any questions that you have, leave it in a comment. You can follow me on all of my social links and we can have a discussion. If you want to ask me a question, definitely email me as well. Or if you want me to touch on a topic. I enjoy making these videos. I'm so excited to just be starting something different on my channel and I am growing and learning as a person and I, I love I, I love sharing this with you. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Please thumbs up if you like it, leave your comments below and of course subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in another one. I'll see you next Monday. All right guys, thanks for watching. Peace and love. Thank you.